All right, at this time, ladies and gentlemen, please stand and join me in welcoming the governor of the great state of West Virginia, Governor Earl Ray Tomlin. Good afternoon, everyone. Y'all look quiet. <laughs> it's supposed to be like, is that the way when you go into church, a preacher gets you fired over something? But uh, first of all, I want to uh, thank you all for being here today as we celebrate West Virginia's bright and talented students who have competed in the uh, Minecraft competition. But first, I'd like to recognize Dr. Kathy D'Antoni with our career and technical education programs. Kathy, raise your hands. Also, I'd like to introduce, I'm sure he's here someplace, uh, West Virginia's Higher Education uh, Policy Commission Chancellor, Paul Hill. Dr. Hill? He'll be here. <laughs> and also our Community and Technical uh, College uh, Chancellor, Sarah Tucker, standing back beside the door back there, along with our Department of Commerce uh, Secretary, Keith Burdett. He's the old gray-haired guy back here. <laughs> and our Education and the Arts Secretary, Kay Goodwin. Is Kay here? She's coming through the door, okay. I also want to thank all of you for your commitment to our students, their creativity, their brain power, and their continued success. And I'd like to welcome our very special guests, that being the student winners who are here today that represent West Virginia's bright future. As you can see on the television over here, if Steve would move over a little bit. <laughs> the students who are joining us today are critical thinkers. They're problem solvers, innovators, and collaborators. Their creativity is unmatched and their attention to detail is absolutely incredible. This competition challenged their students to showcase their science, technology, engineering, and math or STEM acumen. We received nearly 250 submissions of new and replica capital designs from students and team, teams of students from all across our state. This contest was a collaborative effort involving my STEM initiative, the West Virginia Department of Education and the Department of Education and the Arts along with the Education Alliance to promote STEM education while encouraging our students natural creativity. More than once this summer, I'd look out my window from the governor's office and I saw students exploring the Capitol grounds here, taking notes and preparing for their hours that they would spend creating their submissions, and it certainly did pay off. Now these replicas and creations were far more detailed and impressive than I ever imagined they could be. And so today, I'm excited to announce that we will be awarding these exceptional students, most of them in the first couple of rows here, more than $7,000 in prizes. And the top two winners in each category, thanks to our friends at Microsoft, will each be receiving a Microsoft Surface Pro 4 to continue developing the skills and interests needed to build a foundation for future successes in STEM fields into college, training programs, and eventually into their careers. And I applaud each and every student who took the time to create their own versions of our state capital. And now before we announce our winners, I'd like to welcome our Chief Career and Technical Education Officer, Dr. Kathy D'Antoni, to say a few words. Dr. D'Antoni. <laughs> wow, this is exciting. You young people said, no, no, I need to get your autograph before I leave because some of you are going to be something someday. You're amazing. <laughs> the projects that you did were fantastic, and you should be very proud of what you, you have done. Did you know that across our country that we don't have enough people to fill that are graduating with STEM-related skill sets to fill the jobs that are needed across West Virginia and across the United States? We don't have enough of them. Do you know that in career technical education is where students have multiple opportunities to learn STEM skill sets? Did you know that West Virginia's future success is directly related to the number of our young people who have and who obtain these STEM skill sets? 
I want you to think about it. Do you like to solve interesting and challenging problems? Evidently you did because you participate. Do you like to be creative? Do you like to work with others? Do you like to work on projects that make a difference? Do you want to earn a good salary and have a great job? And do you want to change the world? Well, if you answer yes to just one of these questions, then you need to go into careers that are in the STEM field. West Virginia must create more jobs and more opportunities for our young people like you to provide that focus on STEM skill sets. And we are very fortunate folks in West Virginia to have a governor who recognizes and understands the importance of STEM education. Governor Tomlin has been an advocate, a synergist, and a compelling leader who understands the role education plays in, edu in West Virginia's future e economic success. Thank you, Governor Tomlin, for all that you have done to make the future not only for West Virginia, but for its young people, the people sitting in here, much brighter. Your vision and leadership made a difference and has made a difference in so many lives across West Virginia. Thank you. So I, I don't want to give, uh, have you in suspense anymore. So I am going to invite Alyssa Keating to come up, the acting director of the Governor's STEM Initiative, to recognize the West Virginia Capital Building Minecraft Design Build Competition. <laughs> That's a mouthful. Thank you. Thank you, Kathy. Uh, very pleased to be here this afternoon with you all. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Um, we have 15 winners here with us today total. Um, and we're going to start off uh, by with the elementary category. So um, I'd ask Benjamin Reed from the village of Barbersville Elementary School to please come up. Um, and he is a state winner for his replica design. Our next winner is Zane Spencer from Cherry River Elementary School for his new Capitol building design. Camden Hill from Terra Alta East Preston Middle School for his new replica design. <laughs> Madison McLeod from Madison Middle School for her replica design. <laughs> Elizabeth Schaff from Charleston Catholic High School for her new capital design. <laughs> Jensen Tucker from Grafton High School for his replica capital design. Next, we're moving on to our team state winners. Um, and I would ask that our, the Eastern Greenbrier Middle School one, that was the team name, uh, Austin Ballinger, please come forward. <laughs> Gabe Coleman from Eastern Greenbrier Middle School. Yeah, I th we can all come up. Um, so Gabe Coleman. Ian Morrison and Savion Myers for their new capital design for middle school.
Our next state team winner is the team Atypical Tech from Washington High School with Jackson Stewart, Jacob Thrasher, and Matteo Sarasoli. Please come forward for their, for their replica capital building design. And finally, I am pleased to announce our, our top winners for Replica in New. Uh, Asad Ranavaya, please come forward for your Replica Capital Design. And Justin Hardwick, our overall new capital building design state winner. Let's give everybody another round of applause for their great work. Thank you. Well, thank you, Kathy and Alyssa, and to our students and your families and friends and teachers and supporters for all for joining us today. And I hope that the enthusiasm in this room for the Minecraft contest, especially STEM education, will continue for years to come. And to the students here today, keep up the good work, stay in school, learn all you can, because you're our future. So once again, congratulations to each and every one of you. Thanks. <laughs>